All right, you guys. Well, I'm back out in the yard again today, uh, making part two. Just found my first find of the day. Looks like a penny. Yeah. Looks like it is a uh, high memorial. Looks like the ground's a lot drier today, so these aren't coming as clean very nicely. Let's see. Actually, I don't know if you can make it out, but it was damaged right at uh, where the date is. So I'm not going to be able to see the date on this one. I don't really doubt it. I'll get back and find something else. So, second find of the day so far. Another penny, just a memorial. Let's see if I can get a date on it. Nineteen seventy nine. I can't find it. Oh, there it is, right there. Oh, wait a minute. No, nope, just a penny. Pretty sure it's just a penny. Let's see what year it is. Yeah, it's a penny. Oh, I'll be able to make a year on this one either not coming pretty not coming real clean in this dry dirt Let's see it is a it is a uh wee penny though that's awesome got a wee penny well, i can't make a date yet 19 i can see a one i can see a nine yeah i'll have to put it in the video later but yeah, it is a wee penny. I can see that one cent. <laughs> yeah, one cent. Hey guys, so here toward the back of the yard. Almost finished now. And uh found another penny. Let's see if I can get a date. Nineteen seventy. Oh. Okay guys, I'll turn it back on and find anything else. Well, this does show how sensitive this machine is. I guess this looks like a uh, copper jacketed lead BB, I guess, maybe, or copper BB. I'm not sure. But it's definitely a little BB. It's very tiny. And it uh, set the machine off. There is also something here. I'm going to check that out, maybe. Drop this in here. Hey, cool. No idea what that is. It's a spark plug. Yep. So it looks go. Come on, man. You want to smell the spark plug? It's a spark plug. Yeah, you like spark plug? Oh, hey, spark plug. That's what I call you. Should call you a spark plug. Go get a spark plug. <laughs> get off the machine. Please. Go. Go. Ready? Ready? Let's fake him out. Ready? Go. Yeah, what is it? Oh. Go get it. Go get it. Go get something. Go get the tire. Can you get the tire? Yeah, that's the tire. Get it. No, not me. All right, go. All right, you guys. Right at the end here, I finally upgraded a little bit. Looks like I got a 1991 dime. Just barely under the surface. Yep. So all pennies so far and one dime but I did get two wheats out of the yard so uh, I'm just doing a quick once over again real quick on my way back up to the house I'm gonna call it a day I call it a wrap I didn't find really much of anything here but it was fun I did get to see what was back here and hope to find something else before I head back into the house uh, but there's tank one more again. Hmm. God. <laughs> That's a good boy. Yes, he's a good boy. Oh. <laughs>
Come on now, why would you have to jump on me? I'm down here like this. Huh? Why? Why? Don't you take nothing of mine. Think. Think. Hey, you want to be a good boy? Hey. Um. Go on, get out of here. It's not playtime. Enough of that. All right, I was taking it on back towards the house and managed to find one more penny. This one might have been hit by a lawnmower a couple of times or something. Who knows? Pretty bad. Uh, but uh, it's a looks like a 1995. All right. All right, you guys. So it's a little tour in the backyard. Here is uh. An iris. My mom bought me a perennial package and uh, planted them last weekend. You can see this one's already starting to come up. This iris and here's a uh, tank. And uh, there are actually some actually some mums that are uh, coming back from last year, surprisingly. And these are some that didn't. It's a big rose bush. A little Japanese maple. See, already got full of leaves. This one's called a coral maple. As you can see, the branches are red with bright green flower I mean leaves. And in the winter, it drops all its leaves, and it's just left with the red branches. That's where it gets its nickname, the coral maple. Start tying low for that thing, <laughs> but uh, this bush here, I don't know what the heck that is. If you know what it is, maybe leave me a comment. Let me know what what it is. But uh, it does bloom, little white flowers. So if you recognize it, let me know. And then starting here is where I planted the rest of uh, the perennials that she, and my mom, bought me. And this package all through here. There's probably about seven or nine different plants through here in this section alone. A few in the other. Uh, and then uh, down here were some that planted before I moved here. Uh, some tulips. They have a so these have a weird, strange kind of a leaf to it. They're like feathered. You can really see that, but they're like feathered. Tulips. A bunch of them coming up there. It smell good? No. Don't eat it. Uh, and then here I planted some more. And then here I cleared out this one, put in some fresh dirt, and uh, planted most of the rest of them. That's my garage. Uh, way back up here. Come on. Come on. Come on. What's this? Yeah, get it. Get it. Get it, boy. Get it. Yeah. Get it. Go on. Get it. Go on. Get it. Get it. You don't even care. With a frisbee, huh? More fun with that. <laughs> no. Come on. Don't tear it up. Let's go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> and then here in these two planters. I planted the other irises and uh, the valleys and all kinds of other stuff. You get to see it all when it all comes up later. 